Is the Fujifilm Instax wide camera really worth your hard earned cash? Or is it just another overhyped gadget destined for the drawer? Stick around because today we're diving deep into this new release to find out if it's a must have or a must pass. In a world where digital dominates, Fujifilm dares to go wide bringing back the magic of instant film. The Instax Wide 400 promises to capture memories in a way that no smartphone can, but does it deliver on that promise? Let's jump straight into it with the pros and cons of the Fujifilm Instax Wide 400 camera. Pro number one, the wide format. This camera offers larger prints than the standard Instax Mini, allowing you to capture most of the scene and add more detail to your memories. It's perfect for those group shots or landscape photography. The size difference is a little extreme, but it does give you more space to get creative with your shots. Pro number two, improved image quality. The Insects Wide 400 features enhanced color reproduction and sharper images. With a larger canvas, your photos will have that nostalgic instant film look, but with modern clarity. From vibrant landscapes to candid portraits, this camera captures it all beautifully. Pro number three, user-friendly design. The Fujifilm is incredibly easy to use, even for beginners. With straightforward controls and an automatic flash, you can snap away without worrying about any settings. Now I wish you could turn off the flash setting because you don't need it every single time, but that's a simple fix with the piece of tape. And when I say point and shoot, I mean it. No need to fiddle with complicated settings, just point, shoot, and enjoy your instant photo. And here's a bonus pro, I really love this color. Green is my favorite color, so I'm an immediate fan. Now let's cover the cons. Con number one, the size. The Fujifilm Instax Wide is noticeably bulkier than its counterparts. It's not the most portable camera and carrying it around can be a bit of a hassle. It's definitely not pocket friendly and you might need a dedicated bag or a neck strap for it. Con number two, the cost of film. Instant photography isn't the cheapest hobby. Each pack of Instax wide film can add up quickly, especially if you're a frequent shooter. At time of recording, a pack of 20 photos roughly goes for about $25. While the memories are priceless, your wallet might not agree. So make sure to plan your shots carefully because at this rate, it's about a dollar per photo. Con number three, limited features. While the Instax wide is easy to use, it does lack some advanced features that photographers might crave. There are no manual settings for exposure or focus adjustments. And if you want to turn off your flash, you can't. You just have to simply throw a piece of tape over it. So for those who want more control over their shots, this could be a drawback and you might want to look at other options. So should you spend your hard earned cash on this camera? Absolutely. Here's why. The Fujifilm 400 isn't just about taking pictures, it's about capturing moments. It's about gathering your friends and family and preserving the laughter, the joy, and even the candid, unplanned moments that make life beautiful. With its wide format and vibrant quality, it transforms simple snapshots into treasured keepsakes. At a time where our memories are often stored in a cloud, there's something incredibly special about holding a tangible photo in your hands, ensuring that the moments you cherish most are remembered and celebrated in a truly meaningful way. Ultimately, this camera is a banger for only $150 at time of recording. It brings back the joy of instant photography with a modern twist. It's not perfect, but it's certainly a fun and creative tool for capturing your memories. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Fujifilm Instax wide camera? Will you be purchasing one? Until next time, happy shooting, and here are some videos of my street photography that you can check out.